everybody and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles 4 Rival here and well we won the battle and apparently we did it in a grade so that's pretty darn cool but we have to continue the story we have to continue on bullet by bullet here we go or should we do R&D first let's check see if there's any R&D because there might be that was a pretty big fight Miles, be quiet, you've got oh. stupid hair. Right. Right. That would be a no then. I don't think we'll have anything here. We'll check everything anyway. I might as well do this clip size while we're here. Whoa. No, it's not impressive, Miles. I hate to tell you this, but it's really not impressive. Yeah, that's better than that by a long way. Okay. Um, tank, tank. I mean, we could do the standard boost, but I'm really enjoying the aim. I have to say, I am enjoying the aim. I know this will have, like, way more armor penetration and stuff. I'm really not feeling the mortar lances at all. I like the idea of mortar lances, but I'm really not feeling them. Bruised. Yeah. No. I will do that though. Whoa. 105. So it's about 40 less per person. 10 on armor, but you get three shots. And the C rating. Eh, it's all right, I suppose. Waters. I'll do the standard boost because it's sitting there doing nothing. Wow! But the simple fact is, I'm loving the armor. Uh, flamethrowers, no. Grenades, no. Suits. Tank? Have you got anything tanky protected for us? No. Really not seeing much love being given by the game here. I've got a firepower boost. But... I mean, I might pick it up just for the hell of picking it up. But... We've got all these upgrades. I'm just kind of terrified. That... There's like loads of game left. Bye bye. We know that the experience is all sorted out because it won't let us do any more training, so yay. Alright. Enough with all that. Let's get on with this then. Okay, here we go. I'd rather not spill more blood than is necessary. Surrender at once. Why? We've already kicked all the butts of all you people. We're engineers. The engine room's our heart and home. Not one of us is coward enough to give it up that easy, I tell you what! If you wish to die, then I shall oblige. Alrighty, boys and girls. Let's show these Imperial bastards what it means to be a Federation engineer! I'm liking Andre. Aye, aye! Getting so close, I can almost see her. Oh no! What's that? He's been hit. Angie. Okay, keep going. Restricted area. Quit your fussing. It just grazed my leg. By going straight through it. Sorry. We tried to fight him off, but one got away. 
went to the restricted area. Don't worry about me. Go after him. <laughs> Let's go, Claude. Yeah. Urgh. Come on. Don't do this to me. The Twisted. Maybe they're talking about Full City there, possibly. You never know. Ooh, it's all exciting. <laughs> Angie. Hello. I came back for you, Angelica. <laughs> Just like I promised. I'm sorry I took so long. <sighs> and for what they've done to you. But everything's going to be all right. I'll get you out. Forseti! <sighs> Step away from the reactor. Claude, Riley, and look, my little sister. Shut up! You are Forseti. An Imperial officer, and I am Kai Shulin, proud soldier of the Federation. I have no brother. Is that so? Well, fine by me. I honestly don't care about anything. Not anymore. To the, to the, the, the twisted part, I think. But you... Claude, I never thought you'd knowingly send good people to die. Least of all, your best friend. You knew it was Raz? I heard it all over the radio. And now, on your orders, this innocent girl is next. <laughs> A Valkyrian power supply and a living bomb. How many children do you think were sacrificed to develop this technology in the first place? And if that wasn't enough, you're about to murder countless more. You're right about one thing. This tech should never have seen the light of day. Using human lives as tools as a means to an end. Only tragedy can come of it. Actually, the correct use of the word tragedy. Huh. But Angie made a choice to enter that reactor. She saw people's hearts being twisted by fear and decided to do something about it. She's ending the war. She chose this, did she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Riley, you're as deranged as anyone in this godforsaken war. Angie would never throw her life away. We made a promise. She said she'd be waiting for me. That's why I vowed to save her. Twisted. The only one here who's sick and twisted is you! Angie and Raz gave their lives for the sake of others. They knew that peace is the only cure. But you? Everyone's just a pawn in your selfish little game. All you do is spread the disease. How can you say that? Everything I've done is for Angie. No. For all the Valkyria sacrificed by the Federation! Tell me, how many lives have you taken to save theirs? The elderly, the sick, and yes, even the children. How many of them have you killed for a few girls? Why would I ever bother keeping count? And that's the problem, buddy. <sighs> I knew it. You are not doing this for Angie at all. You betrayed your country. You abandoned your family. After everything you've done, 
She won't even know you. Do you really think Angie will be happy to see you? That she'll want to take your blood-stained hand? What do you mean? Of course she will. I came all this way to save her. I swore I would. And soon, that promise will be fulfilled. Not another inch! Stay away from Angie, or I'll shoot! Angie... Please! Sorry for the wait. I'll get you out of here. You shot me, your own brother. You made a tactical mistake there, buddy. <laughs> what drove you to this? This madness? The guy I knew wasn't. He wasn't consumed by. <laughs> Madness? <laughs> if so, we're all mad here. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you soaked out your own allies and watched as they sank. <laughs> and now, you're pointing a gun at your own flesh and blood. Who? Is the murderer here? Who's the traitor? Neither side is innocent. Least of all yours. <laughs> Tell us why. Why are you so obsessed with saving Angie? Don't you see? This is our sin. We have to atone for it. Okay. Valkyria Hunter. Really good, this isn't it? The United States of Vinland has launched numerous Valkyria hunts across Europa. They find girls with Valkyrian potential and take them from their homes. If not by bribery or blackmail, then by force. The number of children abducted in these hunts goes well into the triple digits. Angelica Farnaby is just one victim out of many. Over a hundred? At that point, it's just plain kidnapping. How could the Federation allow this? Government or military, everyone has a price. Vinland gave the Federation ample incentive. You mean they shared their new tech? Quick on the uptake as ever. Ragnite implosion has sparked a technological revolution. And you, Riley, made this massive enterprise possible. <sighs> During training, well before you ever set foot on the battlefield, I was chosen for a top secret mission. I was to escort the Valkyria from Vinland to Europa. Horrific experimentation had left these girls physically and mentally scarred. Some committed suicide en route. So when we reached shore, I leaked our whereabouts to the Empire. In the chaos that ensued, I helped the girls escape. At least, I tried. The Imperial forces were promptly routed. The Federation was well prepared. 
even for high treason. I was shot, and the army took the girls back. Only one was able to avoid detection. Primaria. Her name was Angelica. Oh. I told her to run, but she chose to stay by my side. As I lay bleeding out on the ground, she tended to my wound. She smiled and said she had no home to return to anyway. Before I could stop her, she turned herself in. All to give me a chance to escape, to let me live. Had I been caught, I would have been shot on sight. Angie. Thus, I made a vow. I swore I'd save her, and that together, we'd go home. Not to the Federation, nor the Empire, nor Vinland. Somewhere we could live in peace. I know full well the weight of my sins. But I wanted to atone, to protect her. In this rotting world, she alone was left untainted. A heavenly light in the bowels of hell. If it wasn't for her, if not for her, then what were we fighting for? I have to protect her. I promised. Claude, please. Kai. <laughs> Riley, let's go. Guessing we have to decide whether we want to actually turn the key or not. And I don't know. <clears throat> no enemies detected in the Centurion's vicinity. We've received word that the escape route is ready. I see. Good work. It's hell out there. But this will finish it. We can bring an end to it all. <laughs> Marie, put me on the intercom. Understood. This is the bridge. We will now proceed to the final phase of the operation. All crew members are to disembark from the ship immediately. I repeat, all crew must immediately disembark. I guess this is goodbye to the Centurion. Come on, Luv. Yeah. Brian, can I ask you to make one last sweep for stragglers? Of course. I'll do my duty and leave you to yours. Wherever Raz is, I'm sure he's watching you. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Everyone we've lost is here with you now. Our hopes, our dreams, all together. Thanks. I can do this. Hmm. Riley, you should get going too. I know what you're thinking, Claude, but I'm staying here with you. There's no need for you to go down with the ship. This is something I have to do alone. We've been over this. It's my burden to bear as much as yours. Not gonna say anything. But... Please, Claude. Just let me stay with Angie. Till the end. <laughs> Alright. Together till the end.
What is that? Attention! The Empire has agreed to a ceasefire. All units in combat are to immediately disengage. I repeat, the Imperial Alliance and the Atlantic Federation have suspended hostilities. All units, cease fire and disengage. Cease fire? You think it's true? No. Why now? After all we've done! We could win! Right here and now! Defeat the Empire! Destroy them all! Please, save Angie. Everyone. I can't do it. I won't. Interesting. Sorry, Riley. I guess I haven't changed after all. Vlad. But still, I don't regret this decision. I don't know how long the ceasefire will last, but both sides have made themselves clear. Everyone wants to stop fighting. That's what counts. Our objective was never to destroy the Empire, let alone take revenge. It was to end the war. That's all that matters. Peace is a beautiful thing, but it's fragile. Once it's broken, it can never be made whole again. No one will blame you for choosing peace. And Raz will understand. I'm sure he's wearing up a storm over it now. But he'll come around. He always does. Believe me, you made the right choice. Thank you, Riley. Claude, do it. Nope. Minerva! What are you waiting for? Activate the bomb! If you were listening in, then you already know I won't. I don't understand. I don't want to understand! What did you say when you sent those soldiers off to die? Someone has to do it. And if we don't, innocent people will die. You promised we'd end the war together. And the war has ended. You vowed to carry the weight of those who fell in battle. That you'd fight for them until the very end. Was that all a lie? Just hot air and empty words? I wasn't lying. Then what changed? Nothing has changed. Listen to me, Minerva. I have no time for the lies of a coward. Step aside! No! You stay out of this! <gasps> Crystal is dead. 
She fought and died for our just cause to defeat the Empire! Minerva, we're the only ones fighting now. We have to live with what happens next. And what? What about the ones who didn't survive? Am I supposed to forget them? Forget their sacrifice? Of course not. But this isn't about the past or the present. We're fighting for the future. You're trying to weasel out of the guilt, is that it? All you want is to wash your hands of... of genocide. There you go. That's right. Once genocide. that lever is pulled, it's no longer war. It's genocide. Call it whatever you want. We have to destroy the Empire. They have to pay for the lives they've ruined. The war will never truly end until they do. Yeah, but that's the government, not the people. It's over already, Minerva. Thanks to Crystal and Raz and so many other heroic souls. Even if it's short-lived, we'll finally have peace again. Do you want more sacrifices? If so, what was the point of the ones we've already made? This beautiful city will be reduced to a barren wasteland. Millions of lives, young and old, gone. Dust on the wind. Is that what our loved ones gave their lives for? <laughs> Neither of us joined this war to kill people. We've been fighting to save lives, to make our dreams of world peace a reality. Let's go back to a life worth living. Claude. Uh, chapter 18. Chapter 18! Chapter 18! How much longer does this game go on? How much more story can there be? Oh, so stressful. All right, guys, we're going to leave it right there. Um, <laughs> we're going for about half an hour. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like we saw, please do consider subscribing. We'll pick this up next time. Until then, you lot, take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.